baby. wedding Wednesday. wedding Wednesday and this week's series is all about <laughs> how we chose my wedding dress I was waiting like I didn't know the question. Uh, <laughs> How you chose your dress and I chose my suit. Yay! <laughs> so, because I talk a lot, <clears throat> we have broke it down nicely. <laughs> I don't think you talk a lot. Oh, well, thanks. It's because I'm passionate. But yeah, we've broken, <laughs> broken it down nicely. Yeah. So, Carl will say about his things and I'll say about my things. So shall flow nicely for you and be more Fingers concise crossed. and precise, precise, precise. <laughs> yeah yeah so i think the first question is how did i choose my suit and i always knew what my suit was going to be um not like me <laughs> not like you at all i years and years and years ago um when i was about maybe uh, 27 i would say when i was about 12 years old I went to a cousin of mine's wedding and this was a special wedding because it was the most flamboyant wedding I'd ever been to you know hands down it was a pretty penny you know and um, so my cousin actually married a quite well-off computer programmer a brony code name my guardians know <laughs> what I'm talking about and yeah so he basically ended up like yeah he just dazzled me everything about the day just they had lots of cultures in the west end and he kept that took us day, by the way. yeah that just took us from our location all the way out into the countryside to some castle that wasn't a castle and yeah, it was part ruiny but part it just looked dapper you know and um yeah he wore a purple suit and the image just never left me. I just knew the day that I finally, you know, say I do, had to be in a purple suit. You know, I just, it, it just, yeah, that was just it. I didn't know where you got the suit from. I didn't know any information like that. I didn't ask any questions. I was 12 years old. I just took a mental note and I said, one day I'm going to do it in purple like Barney. <laughs> and there we go we got it done you know so ultimately as i grew up you know i started to understand if you're in london who does purple suits of that caliber and it was just ob you know ob you know the, the oswald you know bolting he just i know he's a magician at what he does a few years ago um, me and trust your barber, my you listen. Believe in your barber. Is it ah oh, believe in your barber, my main man, <laughs> Pete? You know we watched the documentary together and we were dazzled. It was just about the history of Oswald Bolton. Star is personal, and that's a reflection of who you are and your character. How he got into suit making, and how he was the um first black man really to. First black man hands down to have a um, suit making business on Savile Row, which is like a distinguished um, street in London. That's just about, you know, bespoke tailored suits. Introducing the best dressed street in the world. Savile Row was founded here by the first and most famous tailor of them all, Mr. Henry Poole. You know, so. I fell in love with the whole concept, realised that he does epic purple suits, I connected the dots and knew he was the man I was going to get the suit from. So I ended up paying him a visit, you know, um, Magli sorted it out in terms of Magli being our wedding planner, very god, no you can't even say god mother, god wedding mother, you know, <laughs> and yeah man, we had an appointment and it wasn't actually with Oswald at first and then um, Oswald found out that it was me coming in and we had some friends in common, you know, and yeah, he said that basically I should wait till he's around, that he wants to um, do the thing. fit me himself, you know, so yeah, we got it done, we had a good chit chat and I just knew the rest was history, you know, so yeah, that's how I chose my suit. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Uh, my story isn't so simple, how I chose <laughs> my wedding dress. 
Um, well, similar, well, Magali sent me a list. So obviously she worked with budget. So she sent me a list. I said that my budget was anything. That's what I literally said. But obviously after the disaster that we had with the venue, she was like, anything isn't anything. So yeah. she did send me to some reasonable places um, to try on wedding dresses. And um, I'll link probably, I'll put the names of them in the description below because I can't remember all the names. Um, the ones in London, obviously, because I do not um, know any of your countries. But um, for me, I always kind of knew that so one of my friends um went to get her wedding dress made in a couple, another country and i seen i had seen a few people that had done it that way and i was like maybe that's the way i want to do it but the way i am i'm really picky i'm really indecisive um she is i like things <laughs> done like i don't know i'm like i just i was like if i get it made i want it made that it looks shop bought if that makes sense like it just looks yeah, so I wasn't sure about that and then I was thinking about going to another country, what if it doesn't, well I don't know, yes, I was really nervous and obviously like I said to you, our wedding was in a short period of time, so Magali sent me to go, she was like, it's better that you just go and try some on. So this was the first, remember I was supposed to get married, not this year, the year before, so yeah. I went to different wedding dress places and everyone had the brief that Cassandra is so fussy, blah blah, <laughs> and then... So I went to this woman and when I mean like the lighting was like beautiful and she smiled and she just charmed me and then like she She's gave a you psychologist. Like, she gave you like this <laughs> like it's a garter or something to put on your clothes and then you choose the like five dresses you want to try on and then I just tried them like all different ones on and all different fishtail ones and I was just like I weren't really in love. I was like they don't even they weren't doing it justice if that makes sense and that's a number of factors because obviously most of the time when you go and try and dresses unless you're their sample size it's not really gonna fit you so it didn't fit so it just didn't really flatter me and then the last one I tried tried on was like a princess dress and I was like oh and it sparkled That's the key word, princess. and it was just like oh I loved it I was like this is my dress I didn't care and she was like well you need to get it now and I was like, oh, now. I'm about to call Carl. I was like, Carl, we have to get it. We have to get it because it's going to go. And then he was like, what, right now? And then, like, by the next day, I had gone and I paid a deposit. And, yeah, I paid a deposit on the dress. And then a couple um, days later, I went to go and try. So, basically, a couple of days later, even though I paid the de Oh, no. I'm saying it wrong. I had not So... She was like, you need to do it now. And then Carl was like, Cass, are you sure I can get the money in a couple of days? So I was like, oh my gosh, what if it don't work? She was like, well, if it's gone, it's gone. Lady, it's gone. And I was like, if it's gone, it's gone. So um, I went to another wedding dress place and I tried on the dresses there. And I found a dress that was fishtail, kind of similar, but I still wasn't in love. And then my friend was like, Cass, this is the dress. But I remember I always heard that if the person cries or whatever, so she didn't cry. You didn't cry. <laughs> Sue, mom. Waiting for the so I went to show her this other dress that I'd gone to try and with my other maid of honor. My other maid of honor basically cried, and then she was just like, "Cass, yes, I understand why you chose that. It's beautiful. Get it." Ordered it on the spot, and then so a couple of days after that, um, I was like, "I want to go and try it on again" because I started to get like a literal panic attack, and like, I started to literally have panic attacks every single <laughs> second, thinking, yeah, she's at the dress, she's at the dress, I'm not sure, because I basically, I'd done a video of myself, and then when I looked at the video, every time I looked at the video, I was like, I look like a fat toilet holder, <laughs> and I just couldn't get that out of my mind, that I look like a fat, I don't know if any of you have like, grandmas that used to have those toilet holder things, that was like that, and that's what I looked like, every time yeah, I couldn't get an image of head, so I went back to try it on, but this time, the place didn't look the same, Carl. The place wasn't lighted up. It oh, looked like, because like. it was after, like, the outlet had closed. <laughs> and she was just acting like, not nice. Yeah, she turned was like, oh, come on. off. And the lighting was dim. And then I tried it on and I looked, even the hot, I looked terrible. And I was like, nope. I don't believe you not terrible. Yeah, yeah okay. I get it. And I was like, this is not me, this is not me. And I tried to convince myself, I was like, I started looking at other people's wedding dresses and being like, but when they wore, like, oh, it looked really nice, or Kim K when she wore, but then I was like, Cass, it's not going with your shape. Anyway, so obviously fast forward 
to another year. Um, I had a friend, basically it was a wedding dress that I saw, and I can't remember who it was by, I'll put it in the description below. And I tried it on, no I didn't try it on, I saw it and I was like, oh my god, that is my dream wedding dress. And she sourced it for me, and she spoke to the designer, and the designer was literally going to rent it for me for a thousand pounds. And I was... Oh, yes, yes, yes. It That's was beautiful, and I had my heart Karen, set on it. Karen, that was... Yeah. yeah. MVP. Karen Grace, you are yeah. amazing. So I had my eyes set on that dress and but then it came to like getting the measurements and I couldn't find no one that could find out those measurements. Like the it measurements that it was was yeah. like crazy measurements and people didn't understand it and it was like you've got twenty four hours and then I was like so I've already got a dress that I paid a thousand for and now I'm gonna pay another thousand. This is not even fast forward, this is the same year. So I'm I'm just getting yeah. my times wrong. So I'm like I've got this dress, that dress and then I was like to Carl Carl, can I get two? And he was like No. No, you can't. You can only wear one, right? You can only wear one. She said, I was thinking, <laughs> but maybe I could wear one for the evening. Like, you know, I was just doing a lot in my head. So and then, you were doing a lot. <laughs> I ended up just saying no in the end because I was like, to be honest, at least this one I know that I can get it fit to me. But that one, what if it comes and is absolutely the wrong size because the measurements are absolutely wrong? What am I going to do then? And it would literally have come two days before my wedding. So. Yeah, but as you know, I didn't get married. So fast forward, I was like, do you know what? What I know I do want is a dress made. And I remember my friend, um, Kadisha, she added me in a post by Alan Luco. And I was, was like- Kadisha? Yeah, she added oh, me. Kadisha, you're the plug. Yeah, she added me and I was just <laughs> like, oh wow, she designs dresses, perfect. Amazing. So went down to see her. She done a consultation with me, and yeah, like, I was, she was like, she she sketched a ball gown because I was like, everyone, I'm really like weird sometimes. I'm like, if everyone's doing something, I don't want to do it. So I think everyone was kind of doing like a fishtail, and I was like, yeah, let me try it. And she was like, ball gown will suit you, but your figure, fishtail will suit you. Like, get something fishtail. So um, we chose fishtail, and she drew drew something and. Yeah, I liked it. The rest was history. The rest was kind of history. Um, but it wasn't history because knowing me, I changed my mind nine million thousand times of the dress that I wanted. Sent a nine million different pictures, different styles, different everything, until we found a dress that I said. Just different. Yes. Just different, yeah. I want that one. And I took months to get back to her. So in the end, she only had like a month to make my dress. Alanuko. Yeah. Emmy, you rock. MVP. So, um, next question is, how much was the suit? Um, okay, how much did I think the suit was going to be, or a suit was going to be, that I was willing to spend? In my mind, as I said, I've never been married before. I just kind of assumed maximum purple suit, a thousand pounds. I thought that was reasonable, you know? And, and I thought that too, actually. Yeah. I thought your suit would... I even thought less. I thought maybe like 500, a male suit. Maybe, <laughs> okay, I've seen you buy suits expensive before, so yeah. maybe 800 at the most. I didn't really think it was going to cost... Yeah, you know. I thought it would be about 1,000 pounds. 1,200 pounds if, you know. Hey, Joey. Um... <laughs> I think yeah. you thought it was going to be 1,200 too. But yeah, um... And it didn't end up being that. It was actually the first quote I was given was five thousand pounds. Really? Five racks. And know? at the time, my dress was only going to be one thousand two hundred. No, two thousand two hundred and fifty. The first dress that I chose. So I was like five thousand pounds. I was like, <laughs> and he was black, being like to me, your dress, like yeah, it better not be. Da, da, da. And his suit was like. <laughs> Yeah, but really? there's only because diva. there was up in the house. Here diva. we go. I, I'm a little bit of a, there's a teeny bit of He's a diva because I, I roll with her, so obviously no, I just got that diva, diva just rubbed up on me. But now, nah, um, I did, I didn't end up paying for the five, I didn't end up paying five thousand for the suit. I ended up going with the um package that was three and a half grand, you know, and it's an OB suit, you know, you just proofs in the pudding Makes sense. you can't really escape that if you want that level of mastery you know I, 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 I was happy to give that because it gave back to me you know when you give money and the thing you get gives back to you that's when you made a good purchase 
you know so yeah that that was Makes it really sense. <laughs> a lady never discloses how much she paid for her dress now i'm joking but um with my dress i'd say and with your dress the dress that you're going to choose i'd say the same thing as with the venue do not go to too many places and do not look at too many dresses mm. go with your figure so like i said i tried on a princess dress but my figure not that i I, don't, I have a quite small waist, so not that a princess dress couldn't fit me, but I'm also quite broad on the shoulders. I've got, I'm quite heavily busted. So to that, a princess dress for me didn't really work, but the hourglass, the fishtail dress worked perfectly with my figure. And I think what a lot of people try to do is be like, yeah, I love that, I love that dress, or Cass, I'm gonna get your dress, but get a dress that fits your figure. And there's many websites, and that's what I looked on, and that's when I realized I had definitely chose the wrong dress dress at first was you could and I was like why didn't I go through this process it's a process your dress is for some people what you're going to be in for the whole day your dress I think is the most important thing because that's what's going to be in all the pictures so this that is I think for a bride one of the most important if yeah, not the most important it's like Definitely. a big deal it's coincidental that they were both black businesses that oh was yeah, the intentional just coincidence. Because everyone was like, "Yeah, they done all black businesses." Yeah. I went with it. And I let you lot yeah. say it, but we didn't. We didn't no, try and do that. It wasn't just, intentional, but it yeah. happened. So we went for masters, and it just happened to be that you know they were masters that, in there. You know, that's just it. So we were like, happy. cookie crumbles. No, absolutely. How many times did I go and get fit? Yeah, I'm gonna go with fit. This sounds better. Um, I went about three times. And as I said, the first time was with um, OB himself. And then I went back again. No, actually, while I was there that time, I let them know that I was doing an endurance challenge and I'm likely to do excessive, aggressive amounts of strenuous exercise a day that is going to cause me to lose a lot of my, you know, mass. So I told them that I might fluctuate RE size. They're like, oh, yes, no worries. You know, if you do change that much, we can just bring it in, mm. you know, so they were flexible. Um, so then second time, I think I did lose a little bit of weight. So then they said that, yeah, they can fix that. And then the third and final time, I actually went with my mate Nakai. And they actually told me, actually he was my mate, then he's my peer now. I'm he's the blood. There. He's the blood. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I just didn't have faith in the suit anymore. I lost a bit of faith. Yeah, I was just there feeling. I don't know. I wasn't so sure because it wasn't a retail fashion yeah. sort of fit. You know, it's not like what you get on the um, high street. You know, it's more regal. You know, it's got longer. Like, what do I call that? Lapels? Not lapels, it's... I don't know what we call it, but we're going to put the name there because I don't know what happened to my English. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's got a longer little... Not the tail bit, not the tail coat end, but just on the sides, just a lot longer than usual. So it just kind of had me getting in my head and the guy in his Italian accent was telling me and trying to convince me. And even the Italian accent was not convincing me. I was like, nah, I don't want it that long. But then um, Nakai and him tag teamed me and then just convinced me that that was the way to go and I'm glad I let them pin me down. Yeah man, so. Um, I think I went on about four or five or six, but that was all kind of my fault because uh, my first fit in, now my first one we didn't get the sizes and then my second fit in she asked for my bra, my bra size and I didn't know my bra size. My last fit in was the day before my wedding. I told lo loads of you guys this already. <laughs> I was so tired and it was because my dress ended up in India because I was going to get embroidery on the dress. But like um, the sort of embroidery that it was, it was getting done in India. But because of Ramadan, they didn't do my dress. So I was so scared because she was instead going to hand applique, I think that's the word, all the different parts of my dress and I was just like angry, like I was like, it's going to be a disaster, I'm going to hate it, it's going to be too glittery because my the one that I wanted didn't have any like shine to it, this one did okay. and um, 
the last day when I actually put my dress on, I think I could have cried. I didn't even put my dress on. I put half my dress on. I put my dress on for the first time in the morning, the day of my wedding, <laughs> and I could have cried. I was so happy. You saw the yeah. dress. It was amazing. Yeah, it was. It was, it was actually, I don't know. It was like, it transformed me. You know when you put something on and you're like, who's she? Like, I wasn't me anymore. I was like, a princess yeah. out of a movie and I felt like princess in the frog or whatever and I felt like <laughs> so who's the frog of my princess in the frog <laughs> <laughs> I feel like beauty and the beast <laughs> no yeah 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 I just was so happy um okay I'll say with your dress uh jewelry so everyone was saying oh I was really simple because your dress speaks for itself you don't need to do too much. You don't need to wear too many different accessories Agreed. to go with your dress. I had just my headband. That was already a lot. My dress had sparkles on it. I had plain studs, diamond earrings from my great friend. I will write the name from Elaine, but I'll write the name of her. Um, yeah, Elaine MVP. She also well, made our rings. She made our rings. There we go. Love. You don't have to worry. I feel like brides do a lot because they're like, it's my big day, so I need glitter, and I need this, and I need that, and I need that. But trust me, less is more because you are the the bride. No one can outdress the bride. No one's not gonna wear a wedding dress. That is what you can be assured. Well, Definitely. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about some of your friends, but yeah, no, no one's really gonna wear a wedding dress. So don't go too overboard and um, think that you need. Like, they, like, I remember when I was, um, Alanuka would be like, Cass, trust me, you're like, she was like, on the day when your makeup's over, your makeup's done, your hair's done, it's gonna be a whole different thing. That makes sense. <laughs> My top tips are make sure you choose a dress that suits your figure. Yeah. yeah, make sure. Um, also, make sure that if you're going to get a bespoke dress made, I've seen some real disasters that you know you've got like your, you've seen at least three or four dresses that that person's made. And you know for a fact, testimonials, not that they've took the clippings off an internet page, yeah. testimonials, or you've seen the dresses in real life yourself. Give yourself a lot of time in advance to start looking. I'd say that. Give yourself at least a year. Go and try on some of the dresses that you say. So like, say you wanted a fishtail, go and try fishtail dresses on to make sure that's the sort of style you want. All right, because he tried to outdo me on my whatever, wedding day. Whatever, whatever. I had to be a close you. second. I was Come a close on. runner up. I was Come a close on. runner up. So that to all the grooms out there, definitely shine. Like, don't shine, let them. Shine, Jesus, ah, shine. Anyway. So listen, shine. <laughs> yeah, get it done. Like. Genuinely, wear purple if you want to wear purple. Wear blue. Wear blue. Wear if you pink. Wear blue. No, don't wear pink. You know, I was gonna say green, but I was thinking maybe not good. But I've seen some good like Dark jasmine yeah, kind of yeah, 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 like yeah. Aladdin. Yeah, wear green if you want to wear green. Ultimately, it's your day too. Second opinion. So um, my second tip would be for the grooms out there is definitely bring someone with you. You know, mm -hmm. someone that's got and not just someone that you like their company, but somebody's opinion you can trust when yeah. it comes to fashion. Because that, ultimately, that's it. If you're Nakai, made of honor, I knew what Nakai was gonna do. I yeah. knew that he was gonna come and give me, whoop, whoop. you know, some some truth. You know, he's a bit, sometimes Sorry. he's a bit blunt with it. <laughs> he's a bit blunt with it, but he puts it in there, you know, so ultimately, it's the truth. he told me to just stick with it. If your so maid of honor does not have fashion sense, or your maid of honor is your auntie's cousin's friend's Betty or something, just be careful, yeah? Make sure, get a second opinions. Definitely get that, yeah? And don't be afraid. Your wedding, normally your wedding dress maker will be able to tell you no, yes. Or, but be careful when you go into those shops where, like I said, my first experience, they are just trying to sell you a dress. Um, I think that's it. Because I want to go to bed. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so stay locked in. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, no, subscribe. No, no, you don't do that. That's me. Let her okay. never do that again. Everyone just put in the comments. Oh, Tell her she yeah. never does that again. Remember that's to like, me, yeah? comment, stay and subscribe. In. So we can keep you locked in. Absolutely. Because if not, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to go back to doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> not joking. Thank you for um, um. 
I can't yeah. promise you that. Thank you for being here. I think it's really, really Thank you really, for really being good. here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we're going now. I appreciate it. I don't want to go. We're going I don't want to go. <laughs>